Hey John here again. So uh, getting a couple of snow blowers in here as it's approaching October, and uh, you know winter's just around the corner. So this particular machine here is is not here for what this video is going to be about, but uh, is running rough or something. He wants it ready for winter. So you know I often see this so many times where the shoes. I mean there's a lot of meat here. I'll do a close up in a second, but this is like a potato chip here. And this uh, scraper bar that goes across here, you know, I've seen them way worse than this. There's actually some left here, uh, quite a bit, but I've seen it get right into shearing off bolts, you know, getting right up in a tunnel. I actually had this Toro come in, it was at a diagonal. It was just like so bad, it was unrepairable as far as <laughs> the way it was ran for years, just scraping the tunnel to pieces. This one here is starting to get into the front part of the tunnel. Now, as you can see, these, these shoes are crooked, right? So, this side is a lot worse than the other side. This is uh, basically got a minute left. <laughs> so, what I'm getting at, you know, I'll do a close-up. There's a lot of meat on this sucker. I'm going to just weld some uh, uh, stock on there to, to beef it back up. But, honestly, you know, people want to get their, you know, thing low to the driveway and scrape. You, you don't really want to scrape, but people do want to get that thing right down to the tar even if you leave a half inch on the ground you know it's going to melt within a couple of hours it's not a big deal but you know but people do want to get it as close as you can you don't take this bar here and set it on the ground that's not what this is designed for it's the shoes that ride you can adjust these shoes going in and out and you get it as close as you want to where this uh, is going to be on your driveway of course if you have a gravel driveway or you know uneven or whatever you're going to, you know, want it up higher, but let's say you do want to get it, you know, whatever, within an eighth inch, sixteen inch, some people want it right on the ground, but uh, you don't use this. This scraper bar, it's not what that's for. It's the shoes is where you adjust it. So I'm going to weld a piece on here. I'll show you, like, how I adjust them, but this is so out of whack. i gotta, I got to fix this, and I'm going to do this for free for this guy because... Uh, it just gives me a lot of work, but it, it, it isn't even here for this. But I, I just, it's the reason for making a video. I see this so many times. I'm like, you know, this is probably the way it was put together new, and it was just left that way. Um, and let me let me give you a close-up on this. All right, so this, this, uh, this piece on the top there, that thick piece, that's what that whole shoe is supposed to be in thickness but as you can see in the center there I mean I could probably take my fingers and just bend that right over it's out of focus now but uh, so this thing's shot and these things are pretty pricey so it's got enough meat here and here I'll just weld it uh, I've got some oh, almost tripped almost tripped Ugh. I've got some of this uh, this come off an old tiller or something it's nice and beefy I'll weld that right on there of course, uh, the other side is at an angle. It's got more over here, a lot more over here, and less over there. So the way I'll have to adjust it, well, you'll see. But anyways, I'll weld it on there. You know, like I said, this uh, this piece over here, this scraper bar. Where is it? I've seen a lot worse. It's just it's just got a little bit of curve there. I don't even know if I'm going to adjust that. I'll see if uh, I'll see what happens. I'll loosen all these bolts up see what kind of adjustments I can do uh, because they're kind of even on the ends it does have a little wild out in the center there uh, but all right so I'm not gonna get all crazy because uh, it's still hot um, because all right so this is the one it's basically down to uh, like I said it's got a minute left but there's a lot of st stock on the side here so I'm just gonna whoop that's a little one I'm just gonna make this little piece here uh, attach it. It doesn't have to be, uh, again, this, this needs to go against the tunnel. So I'm probably just going to weld it here like this. Even though it sticks out here, I don't care about that. A little extra meat. Uh, and that's what I'm, I'm just going to do because, like I said, to buy these shoes, they're a little bit pricey because they are kind of beefy. And uh, doing this for free, so this is just scrap metal I have. This one here is a little bit different as far as it's got a lot here. And the way it was uh, bolted on, you can see how it was, uh, it was tweaked a little bit, but it's got more. So I'm just going to put something like this, same thing, 
just weld it on but because it's uneven now the way I have to uh, adjust it and I'll show you but uh, it's going to be a little bit tweaked but it'll be level on the ground so there's that. So let me just weld these up and, uh, and I'll show you how to adjust that scraper because this uh, like I said this is just going to start eating into the you know once it gets by it, once the scraper goes you, you're talking more money once it gets in the tunnel Forget about it. Just junk it. These uh, machines, especially five horsepower, eight horsepower, they're not worth. You know, once you get into the tunnel, start eating away at the tunnel. It, it's scrap. I mean, who's going to want to, you know, weld a piece of? You know, it's just ridiculous. So, it's just because of these shoes. It never adjusted right. Anyways, let me weld them up and put them on to show you. All right. Even so, uh, this one is level. That one is on level. Uh, but the way I'm going to adjust it, it's fine. But even if you didn't have a welder and wasn't able to put new metal on there, uh, and you know didn't want to buy these shoes, which again I don't know how much they cost, but they're they're pretty pricey. They're not like five bucks for sure. I don't know exactly how much they are, but the whole kit one time I bought for forty something dollars gets the scraper bar, and that was the cheapest I found it. So even if you didn't have a welder to put uh, you know uh, some extra metal on there. Even adjusting these to where it's just going to be scraping on this thin part, you know, where, where it's going to be riding on a driveway, like two little skis, it's better than wearing your scraper bar out because this particular scraper bar, hold on a second. All right, so those shoes are too hot to touch right now, but you see how this has uh, an, uh, a long, elongated hole there, hole there, you know, so this scraper bar I loosen the bolts up can be adjusted you know so you use your shoe right so your shoe you wear it out and then you don't realize you get into a little bit of your uh, scraper blade and you're like ah oh, crap and you adjust the shoe this has an adjustment you can make in and out but you don't use this to scrape your your driveway with it's the shoes it rides on the shoes this if it gets into the scraper bar as you can see here, it's you know it's it's kind of like a like again. I'm going to try to adjust this so you know we get some kind of level. I can only go to here obviously because that hole on the obligate or uh, oblong hole there is only going to go to here. But that's kind of where it's more level. So let me uh, let me put these shoes back on and level this thing up. So you know again, this bar here is going to be way more expensive than just a little straight piece of metal because it's angled it's got the welded nut on the other side to hold the shoe on all right so i've got everything loosey-goosey it's still a little warm to touch so i put the shoes on all you know so when i put it on the ground and uh this scraper bar is loose I trust me it's loose and uh find a flat piece of uh driveway or whatever you got i'm going to use my garage floor here and I've got this little piece of metal that I put on the floor keeps it up uh, like uh, an eighth of an inch the scraper bar an eighth of an inch off, off a level you know uh, whether you're using your driveway the yeah, driveway is kind of tough because uh, if it's sloped or whatever garage floors are usually flat so find something flat level it up and uh, I'll show you in a second let me let me set this camera up Alright, so there's probably no way to see that because uh, the lighting, but I've got that sitting on an eighth inch piece of metal in there. The actual scraper bar. Everything's loose. I just got it sitting in there, and that's how I adjust it. Now I'm going to tighten everything up. These shoes on the side, um, you know, without that bar in there, it's going to leave an eighth inch. So the shoes on the side, I don't know if you can see them, uh, they're kind of just dangling there. So once I cinch them up, you know, and uh, tighten the tighten the scraper bar up, tighten the shoes up. You'll see maybe I'll get a light in there and uh, take that bar out, that little flat piece of stock I got in there to raise it up an eighth of an inch. You'll see a little gap in there, but then it'll ride on the shoes, not the scraper bar. And it's that simple. I mean, I just I can't get over uh, how these things get out of whack and just get worn out. Like those shoes, those sh shoes are pretty heavy duty but uh, they got worn out prematurely for sure alright so here's what I was getting at so I had all these uh, these bolts loose 
I put it on this uh, this little uh, flat piece of where is it down there flat piece of uh, metal there uh, the scraper bar and on a flat surface obviously the skis dropped tighten them skis up so now this scraper bar is in line with both skis that are welded on and everything's level so when you go ahead and these wear out you're going to get a little bit into this scraper bar yeah so you just got to kind of be mindful of it and then when it comes time you drop your skis you drop your skis down don't let it wear into this bar because this is plenty worn in you can see how it's worn more in the center here but once you get up into these guys it's going to going to be costly putting a new, new machine unless you can find somebody that's going to rework this whole metal thing so that's all I was getting at just be mindful of your shoes man adjust the shoes don't let it get in the scraper bar so you're all like wearing stuff out I mean you can see down here I don't know if you can or not but that uh, that forward part of the tunnel there started getting into that just because the way it was angled anyways that's all I got thanks for watching hope I helped somebody